Welcome to Radware Cloud WAF Demo. In this demo, we will demonstrate how web application attacks are mitigated by Radware's Cloud WAF service. Radware's Cloud WAF service provides enterprise-grade, continuously adaptive web security protection. The service is based on Radware's ICSA Lab certified market-leading web application firewall. Radware Cloud WAF includes full coverage of all OWASP top 10 threats and automatically adapts your protections to evolving threats and protected assets. In the demo, we will trigger web attacks at a web application called Mutilidae, which is deployed in a public cloud like Amazon, Microsoft Azure, and Google. We will start by attacking the application without being protected by the service, then perform the same attacks while being protected, and finally, we will use the customer-facing portal to monitor and view the attack mitigation results and analyze them. In the environment without Cloud WAF, we will simulate attacks that are initiated by attackers and see the impact on web applications. In contrast, in the case where the application is protected by Radware's Cloud WAF, the attacks will be accurately detected and mitigated, keeping the application protected at all times. The attacks demonstrated are versatile and include SQL injection attacks, a common yet very effective attack method used to perform malicious actions such as bypassing authentication for users that do not exist in the application user repository, and extraction of sensitive corporate data. Cookie manipulation used to achieve privilege escalation and login as admin while not having the proper credentials. Credit card number leakage, an example for not meeting compliance which is required by many of today's enterprises. And finally, cross-site scripting resulting in JavaScript code execution in the client's browser. Let's start with a non-protected application. We can see that no user is currently logged in. We'll try to log in with a user called John. And after a couple of attempts, we are not able to log in since we don't know the correct password. Now, we'll use an SQL injection to bypass the application authentication mechanism. The SQL injection used contains an always true expression, which causes the login request to always succeed. And consequently, you can see that we are now logged in as John. Now that we are logged in, let's continue and do another union selected SQL injection to extract sensitive data. By typing a malicious SQL statement, we can list the entire database tables, including the application level one. And if we do a simple search for credit, we can quickly find the credit cards table. And now, let's do another SQL injection to list its entries. And we can see real credit card numbers of real customers. Next, let's manipulate the cookie attributes to elevate the user's privilege. Note that the application trusts the client will not alter the cookie attributes value. However, we'll use a simple browser's add-on for that, and by changing the UID value to one, which is typically the first row reserved for administrators, we are logged in as the application's admin, and can now do more fundamental changes to the application. The next attack causes credit card leakage, by directly going to a vulnerable web page, we can quite easily get to concrete credit card information of a real customer. Before we wrap up, let's do a cross-site scripting XSS attack by injecting JavaScript code that will run in the client's browser without his attention. We will add a new blog entry with a specific code which will do some alerting. And when accessing the blog page, this code is actually executed. Now, let's repeat the same attacks, but this time target the application while it's protected by Radware's Cloud WAF service. Again, we start where we're not logged in to the system. Upon trying to log in using the SQL injection, Cloud WAF detects and blocks our attempt immediately. So, let's log in with a legitimate account. 
Next, let's try to perform the SQL injection in order to list the application database tables. As you can see, this attack attempt is also blocked. Next, let's try to manipulate the application cookie parameters. This is not a direct request to the application web pages. However, when we refresh the web pages, we can see that no privilege elevation has taken place. Similarly, the credit card information leakage does not take place, as CloudWav ensures to obfuscate the sensitive credit card numbers, which are replaced by a series of X. Last but not least, when trying to add the cross-site scripting code, CloudWAF immediately detects and mitigates it. All attacks we saw are fully mitigated, resulting in a fully protected web application. Let's switch to the CloudWAF portal to see how customers can monitor and view the attacks that took place. We start by logging into the portal. We first see the real-time dashboard, which consists of various UI widgets, each displaying different metrics such as attacks, transactions per second, attack sources and targets, alerts, and more. We switch over to Matilda's dashboard to view relevant attacks on its application and set the time filter to focus on the past one hour. In the Application Security Alerts widget, we can see that several minutes ago, there were several attacks, including a couple of attacks with high severity. We can see in the inner ring the attack's actions where we can notice that there were nine blocked attacks of type SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and more, as well as 71 attacks of type cookie poisoning and credit card number leakage. Next to it, in the HTTP transactions per second, we can identify abnormal activity, which points on attacks that are beyond the normal application traffic rate. Below, in the top application attack sources and hosts, we can see the attacker IP and the attacked host, our application, respectively. Let's switch to the Security Events page to perform some forensics. This page allows toggling between CloudWAF and Cloud DDoS events. For now, let's look at the Application Events tab. Let's filter the events by time and then define some filtering criteria which include attacks of SQL injection violation type that are in high severity. We can see a result consisting of six attacks. Clicking an event will expand the row, allowing to view the specific SQL injection statement the attack details, and more. Finally, let's review the Service Overview page, which shows us the purchase protection plans. We can see the WAF Gold Service Plan, which allows protection of up to 500 megabytes per second of legit traffic. And below it, we can also see the specific hosts that are being protected. We demonstrated how Radware Cloud WAF provides unmatched web security protection out of the box including full coverage of OWASP top 10 attacks, protection from zero-day web attacks, fully managed capabilities, and real-time visibility through a customer-facing portal. For more details, please visit radware.com. Thank you for watching this video.